This is the AI weighted RSI by Zyrme. Think of it as a smarter, adaptive version of the classic RSI. Instead of just the reacting to what already happened, it tries to lean slightly forward. The key difference is that it doesn't look at RSI in isolation. It also analyzes how things like returns, volatility, and volume are behaving alongside RSI. Then, it weighs those relationships together to create a more forward-looking momentum read. The goal here is a smoother, more responsive oscillator that adapts as market conditions change. Instead of relying on a fixed formula that treats every single bar the same. To add it to your chart, go to the platform I'm using, which is TradingView, and open the indicator search. Type in AI weighted RSI and select the one by Zyreman. Big shout out to them, by the way. Drop it onto your chart and you'll see an oscillator panel appear with a color graded line and a zero center line. We'll break down what the colors mean and how to read them in a moment. But that's all you need to do to get it set up. The AI-weighted RSI works more like a smart coach watching the entire game, not just staring at the scoreboard. On every bar, it looks at the small group of players. RSI itself, recent returns, volatility, volume, and even how volume is changing. Then it asks which of these are actually moving in sync with RSI right now. The inputs that uh, line up get more weight, the ones that don't get dialed back. That mix becomes a single weighted value for the next moment. You can think of it like a weather forecast that blends wind, pressure, and temperature to predict the next move, or like a sound engineer uh, adjusting the sliders until the mix feels right. That blended the result is plotted around a simple zero line. When it's above zero, the bias is bullish, like a tailwind. When it's below zero, the bias is bearish, like a headwind. The shading works like a, a heat gauge. When the line pushes beyond a roughly a half a step into positive or negative territory, you're starting to see overbought or oversold pressure building. Now let's go through the components exactly as they appear in the style panel. The AI weighted RSI is the main oscillator line, shown as the purple line pulsing with momentum. The AI weighted RSI signal line is the yellow line, which smooths the main line and makes turns easier to spot. The AI weighted RSI upper band marks the positive threshold set to 0.5 by default. The middle band is the zero line, essentially at the center of gravity, the negative threshold at minus 0.5 by default. The background fill shades the area behind the line so strength and weakness shows up as a simple color field. The overbought gradient fill adds stronger green as the oscillator pushes above the upper band. And the oversold gradient fill adds stronger red as it drops below the lower band. On the chart, when the purple line is above the middle band and climbing, that tells you bullish pressure is building. When it's below the middle band and fading, that signals bearish pressure. The green and red gradients act like a heat meter. The deeper the color, the stronger the momentum push. Now let's open the settings and tune it. I'm setting the RSI length to 34 and the signal length to 20. That gives you a smooth, readable curve. The most important setting here is the learning window, which I'm setting to 30. This controls how many bars the script studies to decide which input matters the most. A learning window of 30 gives a solid balance. It's stable enough to ignore random noise, but still fast enough to adapt when the market changes character.
If you shorten it too much, it reacts faster but can get jumpy in choppy conditions. If you lengthen it too much, it becomes very stable but slower to catch new momentum. After making those changes, just click OK. Now let's talk about how to actually use this indicator for trading. The first and most obvious method is trend identification. When the AI weighted RSI is above the middle band, the zero line, the market bias is bullish and you should be focusing on long setups only. When it's below the middle band, the bias is bearish and you should be looking for shorts only. Keeping your trades aligned with the middle band helps you stay with momentum instead of fighting it. Second use is spotting overbought and oversold conditions. You do this by watching the oscillator push to extreme levels. If the background turns bright and the line drops well below the lower band, not just a small dip, but a strong extension toward the minus one area, that tells me the market may be oversold. I don't enter immediately. I wait for the purple line to cross back above the yellow signal line to confirm a bullish reversal before taking a long. On the flip side, when the oscillator pushes far above the upper band, merely reaching the plus one area and the fill turns bright, that signals an overextended move to the upside. I wait for the line to roll over and cross below the yellow signal line to confirm a potential bearish reversal before looking for a short. Those signal line crosses help filter out weak moves and keep the focus on reversals with better follow through. The third method is divergences. And this is where we add a helper to keep things clean. Open the indicators menu and add pivots high and low by this amazing author. Big shout out to them too. Open its settings, go to the style tab, turn off the lines, and click OK so you're left with just the pivot markers. These make it much easier to spot double tops and double bottoms and to compare price swings with the oscillator. A bullish divergence happens when price makes a lower low at the pivots while the AI weighted RSI makes a higher low. Price is saying down, but momentum is saying slow down. When I see that, I'll usually wait for a simple structure break above these small pullback high before entering log. A bearish divergence is the opposite. Price makes a higher high at the pivots while the oscillator prints a lower high. I'll wait for the price to break back below a nearby structure level before taking a short. Using pivot points keeps the comparison objective and waiting for a structure break gives the divergence time to prove itself. That's the core playbook. Use the middle band for directional bias. Use extreme levels plus the yellow signal line cross to time overbought and oversold reversals. And finally, use pivot based divergence as a bit clear structure breaks uh, to catch early shifts. Keep your risk tight and give your winners room to run. The indicator adapts, but you still want confluence and solid trade management. One final note on expectations. This is still an oscillator. This is not going to magically fix every choppy market. AI weighted part simply means the indicator keeps reassessing which inputs matter most and adjust to the market's current behavior. In strong trends, you'll often uh, see longer stretches above or below zero. In ranging markets, expect more whipsaws and rely more heavily on the structure, higher time frame context, and your risk rules. That's how you keep this tool useful instead of distracting. 
This is not a financial advice though, everything here is for educational purposes only. Uh, this indicator by itself is not a complete trading strategy. Always add your own confluence, price action, higher time frame structure, key levels, volume analysis, and proper risk management before making any decisions. If you found value in this video, make sure to leave a like and even better, consider subscribing so you don't miss future content. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next one.